I just ask you um, a, a, probably a slightly more random question? When you investigated those findings, was there a contributory factor at all the uh, difficulty of prisoners' health records being able to be accessed so that there was a clear understanding of the, the challenges facing that prisoner, whether it was mental health issues or physical health issues? Because one of the evidence sessions we had from the Royal College of Nursing was actually quite sort of clear about, uh, and I also think it was the uh, BMA may have said, or somebody else did, they were very clear about the fact that because prisoners move around the estate so often, um, it's very hard for their records to keep pace with them. Did that, do you think that had a contributory factor at all? Yeah. We have certainly identified in a number of our fatal incident investigations into um, deaths in, in Welsh prisons that the availability, the ready availability of medical records is an issue, both to allow people providing healthcare to have accurate, up-to-date information about need, but also when we come to carry out our investigations in terms of being able to provide us with the necessary information yes. to, to, to do our in investigation. So, yes, we have identified that as one of the themes. It's not one of the most common findings that we make when we investigate fatal incidents, but it is something that comes up and has come up more than, more than once that, as you say, because people move around um, from prison to prison or from community to prison, um, it can take time for medical records mm. to follow. Mm. 